Hey YouTube. Just gonna show you guys a quick uh, video on how I make my double lot buck shot. Um, this is a bird shot cast into double lot buck shot. See here, I got quite a bit of them. Got pretty good at casting those. What I do is I start with a standard. Uh, like number eight or number seven and a half or seven shot, uh, the highest dram equivalent I can get. Um, start with a bird shot. I made a tool. This tool is uh, sharpened on the edge. It's a, a paint scraper, um, like a tooling steel that's rolled over, welded on the seam, and then sharpened on the edge to fit just inside of the shell. You can see here that it just fits inside there. And if you it's serrated so you can take it and do this and it'll cut that crimp right out. A perfect circle. The crimp will be in here. And uh, if you have a little hole right here, um, you can stick a small screwdriver in there and pop them out. I've got a duct tape and a padding, a shirt that's wrapped all up nice and tight, a piece of a shirt um, as a palm press just to make it a little more comfortable to use. But So you cut the crimp off, you pour your bird shot into your um, container, you, obviously you mold them, that would be a whole nother step, but reloading them. It's a little bit different. What I've got here is, this is going to sound funny, but I got ramen noodle that's uh, blended in a blender until it's a fine powder. And I'm using ramen noodle because it'll actually compact. You can see, if you're using something that'll leave fingerprints, it's kind of a good buffer material to use. I just happened to come across this. So I use ramen noodle, powdered. And we'll just go ahead and start real quick. Dump a little bit of ramen noodle in there. Two of your shot. Push them down in there. Two more. Tap it down in there a little bit. Put your last two in there. Now obviously a double out buck is supposed to have nine pellets, but these hold six because of the wadding. And the way that the crimp is cut, you can't take the wadding out very easily. You could. But uh, so now you've got you've got your six pellets in there and they're stacked in a pattern that's two 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 more on top like this and the pattern is actually really cool and that's how they're stacked in there and they've got buffer uh, ramen noodle is a buffering material. So next I need a cardboard and I like to use a thin corrugated cardboard. And I take my same tool and I cut myself a little usually I have a screwdriver here to pop these out but cut myself a little disc like this and I'll just go ahead and put that right over the top of that ramen push it down I'll take a crayon <coughs> crayon whiter
melt your wax in there. Sometimes I like to finish it off by just lightly going over the top there with the lighter. And then move on to your next one. Buffer, two pellets, push them down. Buffer, two pellets, push them down. Buffer, last two pellets. Cardboard. I have taken these out to the range and patterned these on a target, which I don't have the target here to show you, but it's about about that big of a pattern area at right about 20 yards. Um, I had probably four or five pellets up here, maybe a flyaway down here and one over here, but a really nice tight pattern using the buffered shot stacked in that pattern with a cardboard um, on top sealed with crayon which actually hardens really hard and um, that's it that's how you make it bird shot to buck shot so hope you can uh, maybe use that idea and, uh, thanks for watching